Hey sailor. guys, welcome to my second video as Sailor Avon. Thank you for flying Avon Airlines, where once again we shut up in between cutscenes to allow you to enjoy them. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route, everything's a go. This is Control Tower, we have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. What? Then the Hedgehog copy that. Is Over. Gone. He's taken out everyone aboard and. What's wrong? Oh, no. Come in. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that Hedgehog! Talk about low budget flights. No food or movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. level starts with us skating down the city streets <laughs> on a sheet of metal hmm <laughs> on a sheet of metal hmm don't question things <laughs> yeah I love this level this is the iconic level of the game I feel even just this part alone I've seen at least a couple memes on the internet of how most people play this level just to destroy the taxi <laughs> it is fun they're not lying Anyway, we're- Ooh, that was beautiful! Beautifully hit. Anyway, at none of those jumps did I get the perfect trick on this board. The one where if you hit at the exact right time, you get a thousand points and you do this. This little trick where you flip upside down and spin around and then you flip back up. It looks really neat. I did do the second best trick a couple times in that segment there. It's a little easier though. But don't worry. When I'm doing missions later in the LP, I'll make sure to show that trick off at least once. But for right now, <laughs> it's, it's really hard to actually hit the trick perfectly like I did before when I was on the metal sheet so that you hit both those items that are one on top of the other. I'm just surprised I pulled it off while recording. Very good job if I do say so myself. And as you can see, we now have the magnetic shield. There are two types of shields in this game. There's the regular one, the green one, that just protects you. And then there's the magnetic one, which protects you and it attracts all the rings you run by. It's very good for amassing all those random rings that aren't right in your path as you run by. Oh, and that is the gold beetle right there. He is a very special enemy. He appears once every level, and if you go by where he always appears, he'll show up. But he disappears if you don't get him quick enough, so you don't get him, because he's worth a lot of points. I should mention that this is a racing level, as you probably noticed. In racing levels, the most important thing for points in regards to getting a good rank is the rings. You have to get a lot of points. You could also get lots of bonus points for other things like doing tricks off of ramps like we were doing earlier, grinding on rails a lot, or seeing much of these guys in the row. But always remember that rings are the most important. But again, you can get points a lot of ways, like grinding down a lot of these rails in succession, or getting a lot of homing attacks in succession, like I did back there. Yeah, so that is all very much fun. And as you can see, I got the invincibility a few moments ago. Let's fade it out now. But, with it, you can take out enemies just by walking into them. But, <laughs> this is always a fun part. Hold on, Sega, if Sonic is the fastest thing alive, why is that truck catching up to me? <laughs> and that jump trick I hit is kind of hard to make because you can't see the ramp coming up because of the way the camera is on But the next possible trick is even harder to hit because, well, you don't even have the dash pads to warn you. And oh, wait, see, right there, I missed it. Didn't even realize it. Oh, well, worse things have happened. Anyway, this level is coming to a close and we have 322 rings. Not too bad if I do say so myself. <laughs> uh... Magnetic Shield was drawing in a random ring, but the level had already ended. <laughs> Shouldn't have hit the gold ring so quickly. Oh well, what are you gonna do, you know? Ooh, 21,000 points right on the dot. So we get our second of 180 emblems, and cutscene. I suppose it's not really a cutscene, it's more of an in-level cutscene. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay, bring it Roger on! Roger Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Intruder has been located. Copy that. 
Yeah, so let's take this guy out. He's not much different from the guy from Shadow. And since I missed that little attack where I could have just kept attacking him before he left it off, you're gonna actually see him fighting. He has this one little machine gun here. And if you jump on the boxes, you can get him before he even lands. He'll shoot the boxes though, so be careful. Otherwise, if you didn't have the boxes, or if you shot all the boxes, you have to wait for him to land each time. And uh, you didn't even get to see his homing rocket attack, but hey, that's how you do that boss relatively quickly, not that quickly. But it's time for another awesome cutscene. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Like, comment, subscribe.